The average UK motor dealer had a decent July, making a loss of £7,000 in the month. That equates basically to the precise loss that they made in the prior year. So it was OK, not brilliant. We saw a marked decrease in the amount of fast start activity coming out of some of the brands, and that's obviously had a direct impact on dealer profitability. Used car performance remains strong, volumes are up, profits are slightly down in the month of July, but nothing that I'm getting too concerned about at the moment, with the return on investment staying high at historically decent levels. Looking forward, it's all going to be about September. We've seen a huge number of scrappage schemes launched by the brands, with nearly everybody now partaking. I'm hoping that's going to bring some genuine retail footfall to reduce the amount of self-registrations that dealers do as we hit the end of the quarter. Moving towards the end of the year, I'm predicting a flat Q4, but hopefully with some decent activity coming from the dealers in after sales, we should be able to produce a strong re result for the year.